My bits what? have been thoroughly cranked down. Turn down for what? Though? Turn down. Turn down for what? Indeed. Hopefully this doesn't look bad. I'm under a thousand now, so. Uh, I washed my butt for you. And Link's like, ooh, you don't say. <laughs> Will we do an anal? <laughs> I said it. Looks as good as it did in 2012. Well, this is the uh, Twilight Princess. <laughs> this is the uh, Twilight Princess HD version for the Wii U. So I'm playing the HD version and downscaling it to the, the GameCube version. So how about that? Jesus. She washed her butt for me. It's a big horse for him. You're going to go, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my, my, I just like that my butt works really hard. My butt works really hard, so I thought she deserved a treat. <laughs> oh, but listen, cro uh, Croplore, uh, could you do something for me? Can you use a piece of grass to play a song for me? You know the one, the one that my butt likes. <laughs> This is why you did this. I tried to play it for my butt, but I just can't seem to play it the way you can, Crop Lore. All right, how do I dismount? There we go. Blow. I'm blowing for my butt. As long as you're not blowing into the butt. It's such a nice melody. My butt looks happy. Well, she's all prettied up now, so I suppose you can ride her back. <laughs> but don't make her do too much work, okay? <laughs> I get a lot of use out of my butt. Uh... This is great. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> There we go. There's one of the beautiful people. Oh, sweet Lord. None of these people are, are, are pretty. I'm sorry. What are you talking about? They're beautiful. No, they're not. They're what do you ugly. Mean? What do you mean? I mean, look at the mayor. Look how handsome he is. He looks like a pinhead. Maybe it'll get better once you get off the horse and I can see his face. But I swear to God, it looks like his head's a pin. What are you talking nope, about? Didn't get, well, He's nope. a handsome <laughs> man. He looks like half monkey in his face. <laughs> He's a Welcome beautiful... Welcome to chat. Patterson Pity. Patterson, Patterson Pity? Maybe. Hello from Panama. Hello from Ooh. Legend of Zelda. Hello Ordon from... Ordon Valley, apparently. Or Village. Hello from Florida. We're going to start whooping at some goats. What? Even the animals are ugly in this game. What are you talking about? They're beautiful. Nope. The horse is beautiful. I like the horse. Are you? Were you a her horse girl as a kid? Oh, hell yeah. I went to some a horse camp three years in a row. Wow. What is that like? I know. Your ass hurts a lot because you uh, don't ride horses all year, and then a week, that's all you fucking do. <laughs> uh, you I get off, and you're just, like, walking funny, and you kind of, like... <laughs> I learned to ride a horse. Like you're drunk. I can you ride me a, ride a horse. horse. Huh? You want to ride a horse? Are you have no. ridden a horse? No, I can ride a horse. I want to go horseback riding. i got to make Clayton go, though. I'll go with you. I have a friend here actually in Texas and she uh she has two horses and I was like <gasps> Hey, thanks for the follow. Thank you for the follow. If you have a name and pronoun you'd like for us to use when referring to you, just let us know in chat. Get out of here, you goat. What 
what are you supposed to be doing to these goats? I gotta whooping? corral them into the the barn. You're whooping. Looks like you're whooping. I'm whooping. Whoop whoop. Oh, I'm whooping. I tried to listen to see if there was any music to this game. There is. Do I not have it turned up loud enough? I can't hear it. But then I'm trying to keep it low enough so I can't hear myself on echo, too. Oh, true. Get in there, you goats. Go to <laughs> go goat to in. <laughs> oh. No. It's always this last goat that's a problem. My I'm butt's not. getting those goats in. There we go. Goat in. Crop lore. My butt. Much obliged to both. <laughs> my, much obliged. To, <clears throat> much obliged to both of y'all. That's a good southern accent. I can recover everything tomorrow without having a without having to trouble you. To, uh, <clears throat> the accents really throw me off. I can cover everything tomorrow without you having to tr uh, without having to trouble you. So have a sit back and relax, bud. Oh, but how about today? Want to practice the fences? Just wait a spell, bud. I'll get them set up for you. He says, "Bud." <laughs> He's just but a simple corn farmer. <laughs> I'm gonna jump the skate. Holy shit. That horse can jump. Why is he not a professional jumper? Because he's a goat farmer. He can't work in the farm. He's a, he's a farmhand. No, no. He needs to be a professional jumper with a jump like that. He'll make so much money. I also have to come directly at the fences or uh, my butt won't jump it. Because he's a professional horse jumper. Well, not, no, the horse is just a professional jumper, I should say. I'm confused. Do you want to save? Yeah, sure. Crop lore. So this really is your favorite Legend of Zelda game? Yes. And I think the reason why is because it's very direct. Like they, uh, there's a lot of story involved in it. I, and I really like the story. I definitely, Breath of the Wild is my second favorite Zelda game. Oh, I can control it by moving the, the gamepad. Until the new Zelda comes out, of course. I'm sure the uh, dude, that one looks so good. You know, uh, I was reading um, an article today that said that they, the reason that the um, new Zelda game is a direct sequel when they don't usually do direct sequels is because they had so many ideas for DLC for Breath of the Wild that they're like, we can't do all this DLC. We're just going to make a new game <laughs> from scratch. <laughs> That makes sense. And they get to make so much fucking money off of it now. I'm buying it. I'm buying me a copy. Not, not surprised. Look at the look at these children. Oh, the, these oh, goofy. There's the girl. She looks kind of normal, really. But there's this child here. That forehead. There's this child down here. What is wrong with her hairline? She's so young. That's I think and it's a little boy. I think it's a body. little I think it's a little boy. Okay, what's wrong with his hairline? I don't know, he's a baby. You should not have a receding hairline at what? Two? That's a very popular Six, 18 hair months? That's a very popular haircut in Japan in the eighteen hundreds. It's not the haircut, it's the receding hairline for this 18-month-old child. Basically, I didn't talk to them, but what they want me to do is to buy a slingshot from the store because their mom won't let them own a slingshot. So they want me to buy a slingshot and shoot at some targets for them. 
Where is the Well, that's store? obviously to teach you to do the mechanic of... Yeah. Slips. But my quest right now is get the slingshot from the store. You just ran into that door. Yeah, I rolled into it. I'm I'm a hit A too early. Oh, this lady won't sell me anything until I find her cat. Oh, she's missing a cat. Quentin says, "So why does it feel backwards?" Um, you right might have the- played you might have played the Wii version. The GameCube version and the Wii version were mirrored, because in every Zelda game, Link is actually left-handed and he would swing his sword with his left hand so they made this game originally for the gamecube but then they were like we're gonna put it on the wii as well so instead of just swapping link's character they swapped everything everything is backwards in the wii version so uh, the first version i played was the wii version so when i played this i was like this feels wrong that is weird so the the map, uh, all the character models, everything is mirrored. Quint said this is going to confuse the hell out of him. Or you're experiencing a new world. Ooh. A whole new world. A magic place where Link can be. Crump, crumpler. Did anyone go see the new Aladdin? I want to, but I think I'll just wait till it hits Netflix or something. Oh, God. She turned around. I don't want it. Turn back around. Nope. Back he, around. He wants me to knock the bees over. I want you to feed him. He looks like he's uh, he's really starving in that face. It's because he's not enough skin or fat there. Now he's getting attacked by bees. What did he expect to happen? Quentin says, then you can go fishing. Yeah, I'm about to do that. I have to do that because there's a cat. I can't buy the slingshot from the lady until I find a fishing pole and fish out a fish and give it to the cat. Gotcha. Did he get bit on the eyes? That way his eyes red? No, he's just in the water and I don't think he can swim. Oh. You just going to leave him? Yeah, he'll be fine. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that man looks like a pig. Yeah, he is the father of the very ugly child. Oh, okay. (laughs) All right, so Patterson Pity, 507, says... Their name is John. Well, welcome to chat, John. Welcome. Hello from Florida slash Texas. And now I have a bird friend. (gasps) That bird is fucking huge. It's a hawk. Is that bird going to be your friend now? Uh, Yeah, he flies and attacks stuff. Whoops, I fell in the water. And you just had a trained bird, just just on the off chance that you might need it one day. I think this link is really in tune with animals. And you'll find out why in a minute. But, like, I think animals naturally uh, are drawn to Link. Like I got cat. five rupees. But look at that monkey. He is a monkey. So you have to whistle to get the bird, and then you tell the bird where to go. Yes. Takes forever for the bird to come. Yeah. I think they only do that the one time, though. So now you have a cradle. Yeah, if I had talked to the pregnant lady, she dropped her cradle in the uh, water. And wanted me to, she said, um, or a, she, a monkey stole it or something. Are you going to play complete in this? 
Um, probably not tonight. I might come back to it every once in a while. How much is it to complete this game? Oh. <sighs> uh, Forever. go to yeah. Go to how long to complete for me. How long to beat? Yeah, how long to beat? And let me know. I'm gonna use this bird to attack those bees. Oh, main story is 37 hours and 24 minutes. Yep. It's a long game. A leisure play would be 58 hours. And I'm definitely not doing like a speed run or anything. So it would probably the be main extras is 76 hours. I wouldn't mind doing like this on a Saturday or something. Just play it until like 3 a.m. Even if, like, the other person's like, I'm going to bed. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to keep playing Zelda. <laughs> yeah. You didn't cherish it very much. Because uh, you let it go into the river. Just saying. The girl talking. She's one of my really good friends. Uh, we, we do this together. It's, it's me, the girl who's talking, whose name is Shelby. And the two other guys, uh, Clayton, who's Shelby's husband, and Brandon. And we're all pretty good friends. And, and you're Logan. I'm Logan. <laughs> I forgot about me. Got that part. <laughs> I, I, I just assume everybody already knows who I am. It, it does also say Logan's favorite Zelda game. That's true. But then again, we do reference sometimes in our uh, game titles or stream titles, the audience members. <laughs> yeah, especially when we're playing Halo. Jeff Jerf. Does she want me to... I wasn't reading what she said. Does she want me to carry this to the house for her? I don't know. I wasn't listening. I, I was too busy talking. Oh, I just had to run up to her house. <laughs> All right. I think she gives. Yeah, she gives me the fishing pole. I can use. Oh, Shelby. Oh, thanks. That southern accent of mine. So she gave me the fishing pole, which I can use the bee larva from the beehive I knocked over to get the fish. I'd give the fish to the cat. The cat will run off, and the lady will be so happy that she'll sell me a slingshot. The cat will run off? Yeah, it'll run back It'll run back home. Oh, I was like, what? You don't want it to run off. <laughs> also, that fishing pole sucks. It I don't looks something remember. like a five-year-old has from the store. Oh, the store. menu's down here. I forgot that like the item menu is down here on the gamepad. Oh, so you have to do it on that. Yeah. That sucks. So now you can't see it. That's okay. Oh, we can't see it. You can see it. Yeah, that's okay. I, I'll relay everything I'm going to do. What am I doing with the bee larva? Oh, yeah, I'm getting one. Come get some. You literally just told me what you were doing. <laughs> I need to have a bottle, though. Quint literally just said, you need a bottle. I don't remember where to get the bottle from. Do I get it from this guy? I saw that using the hawk. That's brilliant. Hoff hork. Hmm. I... Oh, oh yeah, that's you right. Can't fish without bait. But I do need the bottle though for future fairy usage. Also, uh, at some point, are you gonna get that man out of the water? Cause you know he's just uh, drowning slowly. He'll be fine. Uh, yes, I have a dog, and Shelby has two cats. Yeah. They are our babies. Do I get the bottle from him? Somebody gives I mean, me a it bottle. It makes sense you get a bottle from the lady that's going to have kids, right? Because she's got a bottle. Oh, that's right. That's right. She uh, She's so happy that I saved her cat, she gives me a bottle of milk. Oh, so you're going to have... Oh, shit. Also, uh, a goat got That was got ballsy. I'm a, I'm a goat farmer. But you want to see one of the best parts about the game? Yes. You can pet the goat. 
Of course. Oh, there's another good part, too. Uh, I don't remember where it is, though. I think it might be in this lady's house. But more importantly, is there a dog that you can pet? That's what I'm about to show you. There's a dog somewhere in this little village. You don't exactly pet him, but you do do something with him that is just the cutest thing. Do you, like, mm. hold him and put yeah. your nose and rub against his nose? No, I don't. I've never really gotten into the Fire Emblem games. I heard that they're really good. I just, I don't really, I never really got into it. I don't think any of the rest of us play Fire Emblem either. Nope. Look, there he is. He got out. He's fine. (laughs) He's been treading water for like a solid 20 minutes. (laughs) Where's the puppy? The puppy might be over here. There's two other houses in this village I can check. You going to kick those chickens? Uh, no. Uh, usually in Zelda games, if you attack a chicken, a big squadron of chickens will come in and, like, kill you. Ha 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 It's great! But in this game... Oh, there he is. Look how cute he is. He is a pretty cute doggy. His face looks a little fucked up, but... He's so I'll cute. And this is what I do. You just run around. This is my doggy. <laughs> this he's is... smiling. Who Link is? No, the dog. Looks like he's smiling. Watch Link's face when I pick the dog up. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's right. There are more dogs in Castle Town, but I don't know if I'm going to get to Castle Town today. Okay. Um, now I need to go get the cat a fish. Fish. Uh, we do have an Instagram. Uh, Quentin, will you slap the Instagram? Uh, there you go. Oh, my God. He beat me before I could even type it. Jesus, Quentin. You're a machine. Now that's a big look at fishing pole. You are wow. an animal. You just one-handed through that fucking fishing pole. Yeah, this is a... Get here, you little fish. The reason why, his arm, the reason why his arm looks so stiff and rigid there is because it was just, this was made uh, when they did the Wii version of it. You like move the Wii mote back and forth so it like was supposed to match you. Oh. Oh look look at I just the cat. I think it's stupid that you did it with one. And they do theme. like a little Oh my god. They do like a little 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 The cat theme in this game is cute. That is that's so cute. Oh that cute little cat. Cat runs all the way home. Runs in his little cat hole. Oh my god, that's adorable. Uh, no, she has actually never played this game. This is my first time, oh, uh, ever seeing it. Oh, what, did I jump in the water? Is that what you said oh for? Yeah. Thought you were going to drown. No, I was getting that money. I need enough money to buy the slingshot. I probably don't have enough. It just seems to be laying around on the ground, so... <laughs> Oh, my uh, crop lord, oh, you simply must hear this. Take a look. My little kitty crop lord came, or my little kitty crop lord came back. Wait, I'm reading that right, right? Did she name her yeah. cat crop lord? She's, no, she's talking to my little kitty. Crop lord came back. So the cat's name's crop lord as well? No, she's saying my little kitty talking to the cat. Crop lord came back talking to you. Oh. And he brought a fish back with him. He was worried about me being hungry. I don't think anybody's really worried about that. Oh, just angry. look. Be angry. <laughs> Where did you get hungry? I didn't say angry. Did I it say angry? It was angry. Oh. I thought she said hungry. <laughs> so I got a bottle with milk, but this bottle's half empty. All right, so now I have a bottle. And now I can buy the slingshot. 30 rupees. Okay, so I need to go get 30 rupees. 13 more. There's a lot of rupees under rocks and under in pumpkins and stuff. You know, I remember back in my day, whenever Pumpkin. you wanted to get a little bit of cash... You know, instead of just throwing pumpkins, you'd have to, you know, do like a summer job or mow lawns or stuff like that. Yeah, dude, allowance. this is Hyrule. 
We're much too busy to mow lawns. We've got to throw pumpkins at chickens. Apparently. Kill that chicken, see what happens. <laughs> Yo, don't waste food! He yelled at me Ooh. for throwing all the pumpkins. No, but I needed the money inside. No, dude, I'm trying to buy a slingshot to make your kids think I'm cool. Yeah, there's rupees in like the little corners of the river and stuff. Pumpkins. I would never have known to look in some of these places. Ooh, you're almost there. Only two more. Damn. Yeah, the blue ones are worth five. The green ones are worth one. The red ones are worth 20. The yellow ones are worth 10. The purple ones are worth 50. The silver Jesus. ones are worth 100. The gold ones are worth 300. And there is... There are some in... Skyward Sword that are worth negative money. It's like, oh no, you got a negative rupee. Now you have negative five dollars. That sucks. There we go, thirty rupees. Spoiler, I'm not there yet. Oh no, I am. I hate a chicken with a pumpkin. <gasps> you did. They're gonna come get you. There's no, in this game, the chickens. I don't know if I finished, but in this game, I don't remember the negative rupees in Skyward Sword. Were they not in Skyward Sword? I thought they were in something. I thought I remembered negative rupees in something. It might not be Skyward Sword. I'm I'm willing to be wrong. I'm willing to be wrong about this. My dear. All right, I got me a slingshot. So now all the kids in town will think I'm cool. Congratulations. They could have been. I just don't remember it because it seems like something I would add to my list of things I don't like about it. Ah, just oh, in no, time, crop lore. Again. What? The ugly man again. Oh, he's not ugly. He's actually normal looking. Compared to everybody else. Comparatively. Uh, just in time, Crop Lore. I delivered something to your room. Oh, I see you got the fishing rod, Colin. Uh, Colin will be pleased. Colin is his son. And it works better than you thought it, than you would think, huh? Well, have a good one. This right he here. He now works the postal service doing deliveries for me. There actually is a post office guy in this game. He runs huh. up and gives you like letters. This right here is Colin. Oh, okay. Um, he tries to be friends with these three, but they pick on him and call him names and bully him. But he keeps Aww. he keeps trying to be friends with them. Sounds like high school. And now there's a nasty spider on this ladder to my house. If only I had something that could get him. I'm gonna put the slingshot on. Button Y. Sorry. Um, I would move if there was a spider that fucking big. Near my house. That's because it's not really a spider. It's a monster. Uh, okay. Point still stands. I'm fucking moving into the goddamn city if I see something that big. All right. What did he give me? <laughs> that spider's nothing in this world. Oh, wait. If you think that spider's bad. All right. I can't do anything down here because it's dark and I need a lantern to, like, see... Make a lantern. I can't make one. I gotta find one. Oh, Geekosaurus Rex is streaming. I think we might have a raid if she's still on when we're done. Yeah. You could just stumble your way through. Stumble. I don't think they actually let you open the chest that's down there. I think they actively don't let you. Um, what am I to do right now? To do Supposed something. to press the kids, right? With the slingshot. Crop lore has a slingshot. Whoa. Wow, you have enough money to buy a crop lore? I threw some pumpkins. <laughs> I threw a pumpkin at a chicken. <clears throat> Look at this magical course that was set up just moments ago. Preparation's complete. Oh, yeah, the little kid is like real creepy, too. 
He like says like two word sentences the whole game. I mean, look at his face. <laughs> he has no eyebrows. It looks like they got burnt off. It looks like that... me that one time with I uh I accidentally uh turned on the gas too high on Uh-oh. the outside grill. It singed a lot of hair. So that that little boy in the middle and the boy on the right are brothers. And the girl is just their friend. And they're also, Colin is their friend as well. Preparation's we complete. matching eyebrows. <laughs> okay, wow, this is great. Let's see how powerful the slingshot is. Hit the targets and those scarecrows. I can't believe you two brats are just obsessed, with, are, are so obsessed about this. It just shows what little boys you both still are. Those little idiots will never yes. shut up about it. So I guess I'll just have to show them. You'll just have to show them, crop lore. What, how awesome the slingshot is? That's not going to make your case any better, honey. Whoa, you hit it. You hit it. I looked at the manual in the store, and it said it's easier to hit nearby targets if you press ZL when while you're aiming. I thought you weren't interested in... I thought you weren't interested, Beth. Oops. Look at that baby's fucking rolling its eyes. I don't ZL. like it. Oh, it's targets. Is it automatically targeting for you? Uh, only when I uh, target with ZL, but I had I aimed it with this. I moved the little gamepad around. Gotcha. Hiya! Thanks, Croplore. Gee, you really are amazing, Croplore. Yeah, you are. You can use the sword and slingshot and everything. Yeah, yeah, that reminds me. Uh, you got to teach us how to use a sword too. Seriously, lately those monkeys have been coming into, uh, coming out of the woods and playing pranks on us, or tricks on us. Uh, we want to get them good. Come on, teach us how to use a sword. Okay. All right. First off, I want to see that move. A slice. Uh, you just swing with B, right? Wow, a horizontal slice. That was that uh was that it? Was it? I think I've seen you do a vertical slice before. Yeah, you know, by pressing B while uh Z targeting. Oh, I want to see the other move, Croplore. Slice, bruh. <laughs> Thanks, Sergio. Hey, Sergio's here. That was so great, Croplore, but it wasn't a stab. What are you mumbling about? Oh, right. Crop lore. Oh, right. I need to do the stab. That wasn't it. I need to have the sword out already. Oh, crop lore. That was amazing. You're amazing. I'm amazing. Since you're at it, how about you show us another move? I am. I'm here indeed. I'm fucking sick. Might not go to work tomorrow. Dude, call out. You know what? Fuck the man. You don't need money. Money's overrated. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Logan, uh, calm yourself. <laughs> Carlos Lavora 5 says, do you play on the Wii? I'm actually on the Wii U. I'm playing the HD version. Uh, but I probably should because I have a ton of work to do. You know what? It's really important to go into work and make sure your work gets done. So you, you, you should really go in and make sure everything gets done. See how easily I flip on that? I'm here oh, for yeah. I'm here for whatever you want to do. Since you're at it, we'll support you. <laughs> Since you're at it, how about you show us the other move? You know, the little twirly thing you do. I love it. You call it a spin attack. Like it's hard. Like it's hard to briefly hold B and release it. Oh my god, I hate that baby. I hate that baby. Psh, he didn't spin it at all. It creeps me the fuck out. I'll see how I feel when I wake up. All he has to do is briefly hold B and release it. Talk about sad. Sad. I hate that baby. Sergio, I take yourself some NyQuil and just lay in bed and chill. If you get up in the morning and you feel like going to work, go to work. If you don't, then don't. Yeah, whatever you want to do. 
because it was all stuffed up nose at first it worked the other day but today i felt like i was getting a fever oh no 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 <laughs> don't go into fever don't have a fever and go into work because your co-workers will hate you when you get them all sick carlos lavora says lol this is true the baby is very ugly I, I don't like the baby, and he's a smart ass. And the baby, he's creepy. The baby just gets creepier and creepier. Thanks for the follow, Thank Carlos Lavoro. If you have a name and pronoun you want us to use while you're here in chat, just let us know. Whoa! Kids drive me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that baby dude's fucking weird. <laughs> It's like an 18 month old baby, but it talks and it's a smart ass and it rolls its eyes. And where are its eyebrows? It, it, Shelby, it and gets it worse. A receding hairline. It becomes, it, it becomes, and it's just not a major spoiler, but throughout the game, it, it becomes like a shop mogul and like an entrepreneur for all the shops in the whole world. The it, like, baby? It owns like an empire of stores. It's really fucking weird. The baby. Mm hmm. Does the baby get older? Or does the baby own it? Baby as a stays baby? the same age. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. <laughs> it's, it has like its face painted on the walls and stuff. It's really weird. Oh my god! And it's a monkey. Sergio says it's the creepiest NPC in all of Zelda history. And Quentin says, "Yeah, it only gets weirder." Yeah, Quentin, I, I agree. That's bullshit. The children just ran off into the woods un alone and unescorted. Well, come on. Let's go back to the ranch. Maybe oh. they'll get turned into something like disastrous, like a monster. Um, In this game, children who get lost in the woods become... Not this game, but like this series. Children who get lost in the woods and can't find their way out turn into uh, Skull Kids. Who are basically... Uh, look up Skull Kid. Look up pictures of Skull Kid. I have a question. Oh. Who else is talking? Oh, right. Um, my name's Logan. I'm playing. Uh, Shelby is hanging out with me and co-piloting, reading the chat and all that stuff. Um, Hi. That's Shelby. Uh, there are also two other people. There's Clayton, uh, who is Shelby's husband, and our other friend, Brandon, who plays sometimes, but neither of them are here. It's just the two of us tonight. It's usually one of... It's usually two of the four of us that are playing at any given night. I didn't read what Except that kid tomorrow said. Night, which is a community game night in Black Ice. Oh, so yeah. If you join. own Black Ice on Steam, you should play with us. Haha, <laughs> I beat Quinn. Ah. In the Discord if you want to join and play. Oh, there's one of the children. Uh, I looked up Skull Kids. I don't like it. Yep. Tallow and Mallow went chasing. Now, did you see one that was wearing the crazy mask or did you see the one with the beak? Crazy mask. Yeah, the mask is a specific one who's wearing a mask that possesses him. There's a different one that is like the standard one, which has like a beak. Tallow and Mallow went chasing like went chasing like crazy people after that monkey. Can't keep up with those two. Don't want to. They're creepy. I don't like them. They went that oh, way. Oh wow. The rest is up to you, Crop Lore. I did it bought um, mm. I don't want you to talk to that baby anymore. I have to. A lot. Oh, my God. I have to buy things from that baby. Ah. How big is this world? It's pretty big. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, weirdies. I don't know why I said rubies. Gates closed. If only you had my butt, you could jump over it. Oh, you're right. I guess I, I have to. Right. I didn't even think about that. I was sitting here thinking, what do I do? My butt. I got to I got to ride my butt until. I'm oh, sore. my God. You call my butt to you. You sure do. Yup. Come here, my butt. I'm always calling my butt. Okay, can we all agree the horse is the cutest and most accurate thing in this game? All these creatures and people, they all are weird. Link looks pretty normal. Yeah. Uh, looks normal. No, but not ugly. 
cute still. I don't know. The moblins oh. are pretty cute. Uh, I don't think she's going to agree with you. <laughs> we'll find out when we get to the moblins. Looks pretty normal for an elf boy. Tis true. You make a true estate. Whoa, an Ordonian. Hey, guy. Listen, I'm oh, not God. sure about... I'm not sure you should be wandering around in the woods without a lantern. Just because it's daylight doesn't mean it's safe. There are tons of caves and dank spots around here to get that get pretty dark even in the middle of the day. Here, go on, guy. Take this. I'm not your guy, buddy. He just had a bird that landed on his shoulder. I think he's supposed to be like a stoner hippie kind of guy. Well, that's the voice that you portrayed for him, so yeah. See, I sell lantern oil here. I'm trying to drum up sales by giving away free lanterns. It's a business tactic, guy. See, as long as you've got oil, as long as I you've got oil to fuel your lantern, you can light your way and s set fires to stuff. They're the best. Go on, guy. Try setting fire under that big pot. Nice trying to get me to cook his food for him. Yeah. Carlos Lor Lorva, Lorva, I think I'm saying that right, uh, says, when I played the title, that monkey I did not like, I said, why I have to follow you. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a whole thing with the monkey later. Yeah, keep using the lantern anytime you feel the need. And if you runs out of oil, you come see me to get it refilled. The thing about the oil, the lantern is um, if you pull it out. It uses oil, and then if you, like, swing your sword, you put the lantern on your, like, belt, mm -hmm. and it keeps using oil, so you need to, like, take it out and then, like, manually put it away. Oh, wow. That sucks. It, it's kind of annoying, but I, I kind of like that I can just keep using it without having to, like, have it out, you know? So it's, like, kind of annoying, but not super annoying. It's annoying that you're losing oil. I got 50 seeds. Oh, you can use those in your slingshot. Yep. I paid attention to the cat lady. You found a play wooden sword. It's Talos. Oh, no. Talos gone. Talos was Why eaten by a monkey. Baby? <laughs> couldn't it be the ugly baby? Yes. I just fought a bat. I kicked his ass. No, don't kill the bats. Why? Uh, that's one thing that I've never been able to do in Austin that I'm trying my damnedest to do whenever we're there for RTS. Oh, go to the Bat Bridge? I want to see the fucking bats at the Bat Bridge. Oh, no, a spider web. My sword does nothing. What should I do? Light it on fire. Light it on fire. I am so proud of myself. So I was in the car alone this morning, this morning on the way to work, and I look in the rear view mirror, just like checking things out. I guess no one's going to rear at me because, you know, Texas. Crazy drivers here. Because people be and crazy. They be real crazy. And I just see dangling from the fucking rear view mirror a tiny spider. And I'm like, <gasps> don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. You're driving a car. You're driving a car. And I'm just like, okay, very calmly and look for a napkin. Okay, you got a napkin. Crash the and car now. into a bridge. <laughs> Grab the spider. Oh, God, you didn't kill the spider. Where's this? Huh, huh, it's in the napkin. I just, huh, drop it. And I just dropped it into like the little cup in the, <laughs> in the car. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. You're okay. You're okay. Just no. have to drop the car off at the body shop for them to fix the AC. Tell it's them there's a spider in here somewhere. Don't tell them there's a spider. It'll be gone Look what by Sergio the said. <laughs> Did you see what Sergio said? <laughs> Meg would have freaked out. Yeah, I, I am so proud of myself for not losing my shit. Yeah, it I would have freaked though. out. However, oh here's uh, a here's a Boca blin. To my car. Oh hell to the no. Here's a Boca blin. Look how cute these guys are. A Boca blend. Yeah, a Boca blin. Blin. That sounds like a cool drink. You played Bra Breath Breath of the Wild, right? A little bit, yeah. You know those little red guys that are like humanoid shape. Yeah. That's the same kind of monster that these are. Oh, okay. I love how just cutting the grass. You want to come cut my grass? Me? Get your little sword and come cut my grass. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. 
or just as so many people I know are afraid of spiders. I don't like them. I definitely no. have some kind of like insect phobia. The older I get, the worse I get. I don't even now. I won't even kill bugs. Now I just make Clayton come deal with it. And some bugs, he just refuses to kill. He's like, oh, no, I want to save it. And I'm like, kill the damn moth. I, I won't kill bugs. I won't do it. Somebody else has to kill it because I won't. I don't want to go near it. Yeah, that's how I am now. Although, oh, so I'm cleaning the house Sunday. Clayton is still out of town working, and I'm by myself, and I'm sweeping, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, there's like a fucking dirt dauber or wasp or some something in the house, and I see it. It flies past. He's like, shit, game on, bitch, game on. And I don't know if you've ever bought wasp and hornets hornet spray, Logan. Oh I'm yeah, the like directional that. stuff. Yes, and it shoots like fifteen feet. Yes, I I have some it's of that because epic. wasps are really bad out here. Get that shit. Uh, I do call them dirt daubers. I I've heard them called mud daubers, and we got a lot of them out here. Um, I never heard of dirt dauber. That's an interesting them. name, but I knew exactly what you were talking about, so. Yeah. And so the damn thing was on the high ceiling, which, Logan, you've been in my house. The ceiling in the living room is super fucking high. Like, it's 10-foot ceiling. No, you guys moved since I've been there. No, you we were in the same house that you were whenever you came. Oh, I thought you moved. No. Uh, Brandon moved, not me. Um, And what so I, I couldn't do? get to the damn thing because it was at the very, very top of the ceiling on the uh, edge of, like, the fan. And I was like, I had moved everything out of the living room because I was cleaning already. And I was like, okay, we're just going to have to cave and we're going to have to spray this very toxic wasp spray inside my house. Oh, I would never spray it in my house. I'd, I'd, get like a, I, I'd get like a flip-flop or something. I, I couldn't reach it. It was on the fucking ceiling. And I waited for like 10 minutes and I was like turning the fan on and off to like. That's why you know, like you throw, something. you throw the flip-flop at it to like get it to move. I was by myself. I was like, this is not happening. So I sprayed the spray, and it came down to the ground, and I was like, oh, shoot, shoot, okay, it's gone. And so then it ran into the kitchen, and I was like, great, it's going to live in there now. I can't go in the kitchen. I avoided going to the kitchen for like four hours after that. So Carlos raises a very interesting question in the chat. Uh, they say, now, uh, now that they mentioned Breath of the Wild, I'm very excited for the new, oh, at least freaking vocal blends. Will you read it? I'm trying to, these guys keep running up on me. Absolutely. Now that they mentioned Breath of the Wild, I'm very excited for the new title. My question is, who do you think is the corpse of the trailer? I think it's Ganondorf. Quinn says, didn't they say in the E3 release it was Ganon? They have not confirmed anything about it. There's they're a lot of speculation. Up to you. They're le they're, there's a lot of speculation that it's Ganondorf. I'm inclined to agree. They're really not going to tell you because they want you to be talking about it. Exactly. Free publicity. Quinn says he thought the announcer said it was Ganon. Well, I, I haven't watched that. So when I watch it, I'll let you know. I don't think so. I don't think anybody has confirmed anything about it. Because I've been, just been seeing a lot of people like saying, what is it? Nobody's saying anything. I, I want to know. I want to know. And I agree. I also want to know. But... There's, it's very heavily implied that it's Ganondorf. So who's that? Because this is my new... Ganondorf. Like, Remember how I told you that there's a great evil that constantly gets resurrected? Yes. Uh, and a lot of the times it's resurrected as, a, as an evil pig demon named Ganon. Uh-huh. Well, at one point he was resurrected as a uh, man uh, born to a race that's all female. And in their culture, if a man is born in their race, then that man is king. Okay. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of real funny uh, rehydrated Ganondorfs. Um, so the great evil uh, king of thieves, Ganondorf, who was the reincarnation of the great evil, uh, is like kind of an asshole a lot of the time. So is Ganondorf just Ganon? He, he's just Ganon because eventually, uh, at some point when Ganondorf is around, he'll turn into Ganon, which is just a big pig demon. Okay. But That's usually when he's like really, really fucking angry. 
I have, I have a feeling I'm not going to like what it looks like because I've seen a couple characters look like pigs, and I don't think that was intentional. And I'm sure they'll be more intentional with his character. Who? Who you don't think you you don't think you'll like what Ganon looks like? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think he looks pretty cool, especially in this game. Ganon in this game looks real cool. Oh, spoiler alert! It's Ganon the whole time. Oh. <gasps> what? Wait, why is the monkey in there with I don't know. Kid. What the heck? I thought the monkey was evil. Maybe the monkey just wanted a friend. <laughs> I'm so immature. <laughs> Look at those rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're just as immature. If it you looks like a thing. it looks like a big old butt. Yeah. <laughs> Carlos Slaw or Slaw. I'm gonna get this right. Slaarva. Slaarva. I'm sure Clayton is gonna correct me. Do you think Ganondorf is the line of the defeated hero? I've seen a lot of people say that it might be like a past version of Link. Uh, but I don't I don't think that's the angle that they're gonna go with. Uh, because there are uh, hieroglyphs that show like the orig origin story from before Breath of the Wild, and it shows mm -hmm. the it shows the hero who is like got really long red hair and is using a um, a pitchfork or a, or a, a trident, which in a lot of Zelda games, Ganon Ganon's weapon is the uh, trident. And a lot of people are saying, well, the hero in the story is was a. Uh, the hero in the story was Ganon all along, or Ganondorf all along, and that uh, the person that the show in the E3 trailer was the hero of the legend. But I, I don't think that's the angle they're going to go with. Although it would be really cool if they did. My son told me Tallow disappeared in the woods and had not returned. I came as soon as I heard. But it looks like you have brought him home safely. I apologize such a task could not fall to you, or should not fall to you. Tell me, have you noticed a stra uh, how strange the woods seem lately? I feel uneasy about the way about what may lie in wait. Anyway, crop lore, tomorrow is a f finally the day you will be departing for Hyrule. I think it's a good thing I have given this task to you. Good luck and return safely. If you're lucky, you may even get to meet Princess Zelda. <laughs> like such nice a laugh. thing, like such a thing would ever happen to me, crop lore. Just a uh, lonely small town goat farmer. Now I might just be a small town goat farmer. <laughs> hey, crop lore! Oh, I bet this is the the southern boy. Southern I'm boys make sitting. do. What can I say? I'm just sitting in the fields, looking off into the sunlight. Tum ti tum ti tum. So almost time for you to get going, huh, crop lore? So how about we finish up early today, bud? Not your buddy, guy. Where's my horse? We have to uh, whip the damn goats back in the barn. I mean, why would they take away a feature that's not broken or bad in any way? Sergio says, all I hope is that they do something they probably won't. Take away the weapon to degradation De system. Like I said, why would they take away a good feature? There's obviously some disagreement about that, I'm sure. About they should or should not do that. I don't know. It's like you get that weapon that's like your weapon that you have set up the exact way that you want and then you lose it. That, I mean, I get sucks. it, but they also throw weapons at you like crazy. You never are in want of a weapon. So maybe stop making it so common. Like, don't throw weapons all the time at them. I mean, if they're going to take away the reprobate degradation system, then yeah, definitely do that. But I, I like the balance of weapons break and they break really fast. But there's also a million fucking weapons and you're never not having a weapon. Sergio says because not everyone liked it. It was pretty controversial. Oh, I remember. Just in... 
the game groups we have friends of, it was pretty fucking controversial. Hey, thank you very much for the follow, Lord Bazinga420. Nice name. Just getting these goats. Get Let's in there, you little on. rascal. Oh boy, I, uh, but y'all can heard that was 140 faster than usual. Well, how about we wrap her up for today and how about you head on over to the mayor's place? Okay, bye. I didn't know he was timing you. I didn't know either. I mean, they give me as much time as I need. It's not like it times out. I think there's like a heart piece involved if you do it fast enough. Sergio says, but it's a conversation we've had for too long, too many times, and a too loud volume. <laughs> Never. Never. That doesn't sound like anything any of us would do. If there's one thing I want them to add to Zelda, it, it would be a traditional dungeon system. Because the the Breath of the Wild had just like the divine beasts. <laughs> and they were all they all looked the same. They had felt the same. They had different music, but like it was all pretty much get in the divine beast and the only thing you can do that's special is rotate something in it. And I, it, it was cool, but they should have taken the, f I, I feel like the four divine beasts were really just one big dungeon. I would like to see like diverse looking, different feeling, different, you know, kind of stuff. But I also really liked like the open worldness where you can go wherever you wanted. You see that mountain, you can climb that mountain. So there were there were stuff I didn't super like about oh she's mad because she found a scratch on uh, my butt. <gasps> what happened? It's she's injured, isn't she? Crop lore. <laughs> <laughs> How could you? You were pushing my butt too hard again. <laughs> but I bet you hurt her leg jumping over fences, didn't you? <laughs> okay, but is my butt my horse or your horse, bitch? My butt is Croplore's horse. Okay, then stop being so protective. It's a scratch. He'll be fine. Now, oh, now, Ilya. On it. Father! How can you be so easy on him? You're the mayor. You should start acting like one. Look at him. They're both like, Jesus. You poor thing. They're eyeballing each other. The, uh, on, the other thing that I didn't like about Breath of the Wild was the lack of music. Because I feel like Legend of Zelda games have, like, very, very, like, broad musical scores. The shrines were also not the best. People deserved super mega cheese strats to avoid them. Yeah. I mean, I, I, they weren't hard. It's just they were short. And there was 120 of them. They were like some that were kind of hard, but like most of them were just like, here, go in here and find your way to from point A to point B. But like Breath of the Wild, the the best music in the game was when you were in Hyrule Castle and it was just a redone version of like the actual like Hyrule Castle music. Link is in trouble. Your girly is angry. Your girl is angry. Yeah, she is uh, very pissed. Oof. Once we soothe you in the spirit spring, you'll feel better in no time. Well, wait, Ilya. Why, without my butt, the gift won't get delivered in time. Oh, great. Now we're going to have to walk? No, I got to just go get my horse. Good luck. I don't think she's going to let you have him. What? I'll just find one of these little uh, horse flutes and summon it the bees are back they tend to do that they'll come back got dang bees crop lore are you going to see Ilya maybe it's just me but those guys don't normally let people through uh, crop lore you think we can go see Ilya together Oh, great. The lame kid's following me. Oh, God. 
Hey, we've been waiting for you, you know, crop lore. Yesterday was so much fun. Yeah, chasing monkeys was great. I was telling oh, Malo. Oh, the baby. <laughs> What are you doing? I was, he's, he's excited. Look at his face. Can't you tell? Uh, uh, I was just telling Malo here about how we wanted to show it to him. But let it go instead. What? The monkey. Oh. Oh, you didn't get caught, Tallow. Oh, Colin. Way to spoil everything by telling your dad. Nice job. Yeah, thanks a lot. I got scold We got scolded by our dad something awful. I thought it was never going to end. I bet you're trying to see Ilya, aren't you? Well, there's no way I'm going to let you pass. Oh, hey, neat, Crop Lord. Let me borrow that wooden sword. I'm going to smack the shit out of you with that If I had sword. that wooden sword yesterday, I could have handled it alone. Definitely. Come on, let me borrow the wooden sword right now. Sure thing. I will smack you. Fuck. No, don't give it to the kid. <laughs> the bratty-ass little kid. Whoa, yes. With this thing, I'll show him. Great. Logan's going to have like his fable playthrough and be an evil ass. I have to give the kid the sword. They, I can't get past without letting him have it. No. Fuck Thanks. that kid. Those guys are always teasing me. Uh, what's so fun about swinging something like that around anyway? I hate it. It's scary. But when I grow up, I want to be like you, Croplore. I don't want to learn about swords or anything. I, uh, could you teach me how to ride a horse sometime? Can you? You have to promise. And then he runs off before I can say anything. If you don't say no, I can't. You can't say no. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear la, it. La, 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 la. You said yes. La, 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 la. Oh, I'm going to go into my basement and see what's in there. He is a bit of a snitch. I'm not going to lie. No, no spoilers. No. The sad part. Uh, It's not that sad. Whisper. <laughs> no. Whisper shows up and is still dead. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom would like roll over from her cruise and be like, wait a minute. There's a disturbance in the force. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shelby's happy because Whisper's back. It's too spooky. I thought we were going to get our horse. I am, but I want to go to the treasure in my basement. <laughs> 50 rupees. Bad. What did you say? You've completely forgotten about them. I don't know about you, but I don't just forget about $50. Also, why do you have a part of your house that's just dark like that? You don't have lights down there. Because it's the basement and there's no electricity. Ugh. How do they live? I don't know. Must have internet. Must have electri Oop, electricity. But I don't fully really understand games. because there are definitely enemies that have electric properties to them. So it's not like ever people aren't aware of what electricity is. Enemies? Yeah, there's like... And an enemies. And an enemies. So I can go around to the front gate over here and have her be like, no, I'm not letting you in. Or I can just go straight in. Uh -huh. What do you want to do? Just go straight in. She's a bossy little bitch. Because what I'm supposed to do is like go around to the gate. And she's like, I'm not letting you in. You're not allowed to ride this horse. And then I just come over here to this little secret tunnel and I crawl my way in. It's my horse, bitch. You can't take it. <laughs> Carla says, no, it's all right. Hyrule is a place, a world of peace and love. Oh, but good. Be distracted talking to the kid, Colin. <laughs> so you still prefer your master over me, huh, my butt? <laughs> <laughs> my butt has a spider on its nose bridge. Don't worry about your horse crop lore. Unfortunately, it looks like the injury isn't too serious. You two can go on together. Gee, thanks. Thanks, Ilya. But crop lore, can you at least promise me this? No. I can't no matter what happens to your journey, you'll try to do anything. Or no matter what happens on your journey, don't try to do anything out of your league, please. Um, Ilya, I'm something what the gamers call epic so huh. i'm like an epic gamer so whatever uh... <laughs> quiet you just come home her. safely quiet is uh metal gear 
Oh, you're right. Oh, shit. What is this? Oh, no! <gasps> what the fuck is going on? Did they shoot her with an arrow? And they're taking the kid? I don't think we're going to high roll. I don't even know what that is. Uh, exactly. <laughs> and it's uh, they're on like some kind of bull thingies. They're boars. What did it call for? Did it? What? There's a portal now. <laughs> what the fuck is going on in this game? And uh, Crop Lord is taking a little nap. I mean, he got clubbed in the head. Yeah, excuses. Where'd my butt go? <laughs> Has anybody seen my butt? My butt. What about the portal above your head, dumbass? He didn't see it. This game just got really weird. Oh, and don't worry, we are going to the castle. Oh. Ooh, something <laughs> grabbed me. Your reactions are great, by the way. I, uh, I feel like that was a demon. Oh! Oh, uh, nope, I told you, I didn't like these things. What is that? What is that? What's going on with my hand? And here comes the best part of the game. Hi, got a tattoo. Wait. What? <laughs> What th the fuck? <laughs> I think it's great that you have no context for anything that's happening right now. There's what? There's now a wolf? You're having like the what? truest you're having the truest reaction to everything that's happening right now. You're a wolf? Uh-huh. I don't know if I like it more or like it less now. Because <laughs> more? I like wolves, but I also am scared shitless of wolves. Well, I'm the only wolf in the game, if that makes you feel any better. You're a pretty wolf. I'm not going to lie. Got pierced ears. Oh, my God, you do. But look at that forehead. Look at that uh, symbol you got going on there. There's a reason for that symbol, but I can't tell you. Uh, I figure there would be. Dude, you just turned in a wolf from a human. You can take out a little bit of a fucking chain, okay? You got some magic in ya. Are, are those the Skull Kids? No, this is Midna. Midna. Yeah, she's a Twilight. Oh. She's from a different universe. Ooh, aren't you scary? <laughs> Are you sure you want to be doing that, snarling and glaring at me? Well, that's too bad. I was planning on helping you if you were nice. <laughs> How much? Or that's much better. You humans are obedient to a fault, aren't you? Oops, you aren't a human anymore, are you? You're a beast. <laughs> Shelby, I do have to say, like, your reaction to that scene was amazing because you didn't know it was coming. And, like, no. just the pure, like, reaction to it. I loved it. I loved every second of it. <laughs> I don't know anything in this game. This Me is why I wanted to play it with you. But I certainly wasn't expecting <laughs> this in the title or subject matter that I had very lightly dipped into said you turn into a fucking wolf <laughs> because like when i played this game for the first time i knew you turned into a wolf so like it wasn't a big shock for me 
Can you turn back into a human? Or are you always a wolf? Are uh, you now a wolf? You're like a wolf. You play a wolf for like, I'm going to say like a quarter of the game. Eventually, I'll turn back human, but then I'll turn back into a wolf. And then at some point, eventually at one point during the game, I can choose to switch back and forth. You're going to lick your butt while you're a wolf. Probably. Just so you know. I mean, that's what dogs do. I know. And then they kind of try to, then they try to come and lick your face. And it's like, eh. Yes. Carlos, I did see the Triforce in your hand. And so I knew something was going to happen. I thought he was going to grow into some powers, not grow into a fucking wolf. <laughs> and well, she just morphed into like molecules and then out back into a cohesive form. What's what was her name? Midna. Mid Midna. 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 I like uh, how Midna looks. Yeah, she's really that. she's really cool. There's a way to go into like dog sense. I don't remember how to get out of this cage. Uh, well, there's like there's a half wall there, like a window or something. How do I go to dog mode? <laughs> do what dogs do best. Pee on things? Sniff their butt? Dig? Oh, there it is. She is very, very cool. Yeah. I just like her. She looks cool. Quinn says, I don't think you get it till a, a little bit later. Oh, I think he's talking. Oh, he's talking about dog sense. About dog sense. Hmm, I guess you're not so completely stupid after all. Thanks. Lis listen, I like you. So I think I'll get uh, I think I'll get you out of here. But in exchange for my help, you have to do exactly as I say. Excuse me, at what point in this relationship for the past minute did you decide that we knew each other well enough that you were going to ride me like a fucking horse? I mean, she's not riding me like my butt. So we all clear? Good. Now, come on, get moving. Jesus, that was a kick. What just happened? My You broke your game. It like turned off for a second. That was weird. Yeah. Oh god, it was like no signal. Is it going out now? Yeah, you're good. Okay. That was weird. Dick. The Elgato was also mad about the fact that she was riding you like a horse. I guess. <laughs> Sergio says, I mean, who wouldn't want to ride Link, Shelby? I mean, you make a point. I always, as a child, wanted to ride horses, like ride dogs when I was a little baby. I think he was making a sex joke. Yeah, but we're... What? Um, there's no sex jokes on my Christian uh, uh, Twitch channel. I have a penis. There we go. We're just going <laughs> to ruin that. We're going to break that. Also, we were literally looking at rocks earlier that like butt slash balls. So don't <laughs> even come at me with that. Yeah. Oh, this is where I learned dog sense. Press X to hone your senses and poke around. Is this going to be in a Beauty and the Beast love no. relation going on here? No. <laughs> uh, Midna and Link's <laughs> relationship is purely pl platonic through the whole game. Huff. Huff. Can't run any further. That's far enough, right? I'll be safe here, I think. What was that noise? I don't want anything to come near me. Oh, there's an amiibo of Midna with Wolf Link. Do you have it? I do, oh, and I have it. I already have it maxed out, so I don't want to use it. Because you can do like a dungeon thing where you go in as Wolf Link and fight 40 floors down, and then you get like more hearts, and you can put it into the amiibo. And then once you have it maxed out in Breath of the Wild, you can bring Wolf Link into Breath of the Wild, and he'll fight alongside you with as many hearts as you have unlocked in this game. I just wanted to see it. Oh, you want to see it? I can go get it real quick. Want me to? Yeah, I want to see it. All right, I'll be right back. What's the point of having all these amiibos that you have shelves and shelves and shelves of if we're not going to be able to see them on stream? Also, I may have to buy Clayton 
the snake one that's going to be coming out just so we can put it in his PC like he was talking about on last night's stream. Shoo! Sorry, excuse me, I had to sneeze. I would totally cosplay as Midna. That's pretty fucking sweet. Thank you, Quentin. Okay, I'm back. I see that. All right. Well, here is the Wolf Link and Midna amiibo. Ooh. That looks cool. Yeah. Does her hat come off? It looks like it should come off. Yeah. No, it doesn't come off. I also grabbed some Zelda amiibo. Because you can scan these Zelda amiibos. And it'll refill all your hearts. Oh, cool. In any of the games that's on the Wii? This, this specifically this one. Oh, okay. Also, you can scan a Link amiibo and refill all your arrows. But I don't have a bow yet, so that's kind of useless for now. You do like your bows. <laughs> Sergio says, okay, I took some NyQuil, technically Mucinex, but it's time to hope I can get some sleep and actually go to work. All right. Does that mean you're going to get off, Sergio? Sounds like he's going to get some sleep. Yep. Yeah. All right. So Thanks for stopping by, Sergio. Hopefully I'll see you. Yeah. We'll see you soon. Yep. No, we're not used to our new body because all of a sudden I changed it to a wolf just 10 minutes ago. Jesus. These are what I rats turn into in the, in the twilight. It's weird what she does with her hand thing. I, I think it's I to don't... like inform you that there's something to interact with. Is that supposed to be her hand though? No, it's not her hand. It's uh she has the power to like control her hair to like grab things and such. I want that. Can I have that please? Uh sure. I'll give it to you. I'll allow it. Thanks. Can I make up stupid shit like that if I play Dungeons and Dragons? Stupid shit like what? Like I have powerful hair. Yeah, absolutely. All of a sudden, I'm very interested in learning how to play Dungeons and Dragons. It's fun. You should play. Clayton thinks he oh. doesn't have a good enough imagination to play Dungeons and Dragons, but I think he does. Yeah, he doesn't like anything that's card based. I just, I don't. Oh, it's not card based. Nope. Oh, if it's a video game. It's, it's not format. a video game. It's all spoken word and stuff written down. Oh, yeah. He won't go for that. It has to be video game. Literally, it's... You want to play Monopoly? Uh, Sure. And he breaks out the weed. I'm like, I meant the Monopoly cat set that I have. No? <laughs> okay. Uh, I actually <laughs> do play Dungeons & Dragons with Sergio. Online. Yep. All of on. us all of us are at our own houses. On some Sundays. I don't know which Sundays. It's usually every other Sunday, but like there's been a, like we didn't play for like a month and a half. And then two of the two of those Sundays during that, that month and a half out uh we didn't play. I wasn't able to play because of stuff. But we played on Sunday. It was really it was a really good session. I had a lot of fun that day. There's actually an MMO of it. An MMO of? Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, yeah, but it's not as fun as actual Dungeons and Dragons. Maybe to you. I don't know where to go. I'm going to go. You got to get. I got to get to where Midna is. I keep letting that these just rats. just keeps releasing fucking rats. I think there's a specific chain I need to pull, and they like punish me for doing the wrong, uh, the wrong chain. Now I lowered the water, and they made me look at it for a really long time. <laughs> they want you to really know that the water. Oh, is I just made the water come back up. I think. Yeah, you did for sure. I was trying to break that skull. So I need to walk. I need to look at this really long cutscene. 
another time. No, we should go through this. <laughs> I mean, I've heard some dogs like water, but still, this is no fun. Lewis doesn't like water. Oh, we bait the cat the other day. He was not. Oh, happy. how did that go? He was not particularly happy, and but it was luckily it was Miko, so he's you know older and easier to control. I don't know how it's gonna go with Oreo. He's gonna be a fucking wild card. There's a hole right there. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. It just looks like you're headbutting your head into the wall. I can do that repeatedly. Maybe if you hit your head hard enough. Okay, let's also talk about how you didn't freak out, right? All of a sudden, you're a wolf, and you're just like, okay, I'm a wolf. I mean, I knew that it was going to happen, so it didn't, like, I didn't have as Not much you, of a... I mean, the character you. Like... True, but I also think Link think. has, like, a... A calm disposition about weird stuff, probably. But he turned into a wolf. That's not possible to just be like, oh, that's that's Tuesday night. It's fine. But it's funny because Link turned into a wolf, but everybody else turned into these spirits. So, like, what's going on there? What's up with that? I, I don't know. Who wouldn't want to turn into a wolf, though? I don't think I'd like being a wolf. Me. I am not pooping outside. Ugh, what are you doing? Shut up, Binda. Maybe if you got off my back, I could jump further, bitch. I guess I have to do everything for you. Look, I'll show you the small ledges. Press uh, Z target and press A to jump. That's weird that it shows you how to do that instead of you just having to figure that out. Whoops. Alright, now it's tightrope across this. I don't know how to get on it. Yeah, a completely natural thing for a wolf to do. Sure. Oh, there we go. I'm a wolf walking a tightrope. Uh-oh, bits. Don't hurt them. I want to go watch them. These, trust me, these aren't friendly bats. Um. <laughs> More respect for Midna. She only rides a wolf. Um. Just saying. Felt like the game was made it easier by allowing her to show us exactly where we needed to jump. All where right. are we? Say what? So where are we? We're outside. But she was just talking about that. Oh, okay. We're in a castle. Weird. With a dragon. It's not a dragon, it's a bird. Looks big enough to be a dragon. My bad. So we were finally able to get out. And look at the sky, black cloud of twilight, looking beautiful today. Do you know where this is? Still don't know? <laughs> look, there's someone I want to introduce you to. I'll need you to get to that tower to do that.
What? What are those monstrous birds? What in the world is happening here? Our poor Hyrule Castle. Some people call the, the birds dragons. He just told us where we were. Yeah, he did. I kind of figured that castle, Hyrule. <laughs> That one was obvious. The whole turning into a wolf thing, not obvious. <laughs> I'd say I loved your reaction to that whole thing. Like You're like, what? What? <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Dragon. Tiny dragon. I'm going to fight this tiny dragon here. Tiny dragon. Just gonna go beat up this tiny dragon real quick. So insensitive. Uh look, just a little further. Oh, that's a jump. Oh my god, all of a sudden I can jump really far. Get that tiny dragon. How to kill your dragon. Oh, Quentin says if you don't jump fast enough, you just fall. Yep. That sounds like something I would do because I'd be like, one jump, relax, and one jump, relax. I bet it's so methodical and safe and slow progress with me. Carlos asks, would you like TP on the Nintendo Switch? I would. I'd play it again on the Switch. And Wind Waker. You know, just put them all on the Switch. Take the 3DS remakes of the Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, put those in the Switch. Just stop doing anything on DSs, please. Yeah, I think they're all about done with the 3DS. Which all is a shame, because the 3DS is a pretty good console. But everybody has a Switch now. Yep. Who is this? I was doing a giveaway today for a Nintendo Switch mm. on Twitter. Sticker Mule is pretty cool. That's where we got our coasters. If you want to buy one, you go to carpetboredom.com slash store. They are $2 a piece. I was just getting a shirt since you're there. The softest fucking shirts ever. Who's this? I don't know. Midna? Oh, you remember my name. What an honor for me. So this is the one for whom you were searching. He's not exactly what I had in mind, but I guess he'll do. You were imprisoned? For like five minutes. That's it. Don't feel bad for me. I am sorry. poor thing he has no idea where this is or what's happened so don't you think you should explain to him what you've managed to do you owe him that much twilight princess he he what did she turn me into a wolf god damn it listen carefully this was once a land where the power of the gods was said to slumber this is once the kingdom of Hyrule. But that blessed kingdom has been transformed by the king that rules the twilight. It has been turned into a world of shadows ruled by creatures who shun the light. Sounds like a Kingdom Hearts game. Hmm. Carlos says, I just ordered Ocarina of Time for 3DS. I look forward to it since Nintendo 64 a few years ago. I have not played it's it. It's so good. But important cutscene. Is 
Look, darkness. My old friend. Oh, I don't like the creepy little things. Crawly, they're like crawling on their hands. I don't like it. Yeah, they've gone through your guard. This is how you're going to die. It is time for you to choose. Surrender or die. You look like you have a... A question, uh, oh yes, a question for all the land and the people of Hyrule. Life or death? Chameleon, that's what that looks like. Oh, so Zelda and Vagabond version telling stories. The story in this game is so cool. Twilight covered Hyrule like a shroud. And without light, the people became as spirits. Within the twilight, they lived on, unaware that they'd passed into spirit forms. All the people now, all the people know now is fear, fear of a nameless evil. But who could this be? A kingdom succumbed to twilight, but I remain its princess. Oh, it's, it's Princess Zelda. Wait. That's Princess Zelda? Mm-hmm. But Zelda's the boy. Oh, my God. I, I knew you were going there. I knew you were going to go there. <laughs> for, those unaware, for those unaware, she's joking. She doesn't actually think that. <laughs> No, Zelda's definitely the boy. She Z is Zelda the is the boy confirmed. Uh, you don't have to look so sad. We actually find it to <clears throat> we actually find it to be quite li livable. I mean, it's perpetual twilight. Really, all that bad? No, I'm cool with it. Midna, this is no time for levity. The shadow beasts have been searching far and wide for you. I I would say that. Majora's Mask is darker than this game, but this game is pretty dark. Why is this? Why indeed, you tell me. <laughs> oh, you tell me is the inflection I should have used in that sentence. Time has grown short. The guard will soon make his rounds. So why is it that everybody else uh, became spirits and are now in the twilight, unknown that they are now spirits, but Zelda is not? I think because the Triforce, uh, which is something that you have no reference for. Uh, you know the three triangle symbol that is everywhere? Yes. Yes. Uh, that's the Triforce. And yes. um, it always chooses three people. There's power, wisdom, and courage. Uh, Link is always chosen as the, the wielder of courage. Zelda's always chosen for wisdom. And power is given to usually the person with the most power. But in Ocarina of Time, Ganondorf found the Triforce and grabbed the, the Triforce of Power. But the other two got away from him. So he was granted the Triforce of Power even though he wasn't worthy of it. So usually the Triforce of Power is usually granted to Ganondorf and I think because Link is chosen by the Triforce for courage and Zelda is chosen by the Triforce for wisdom they're not fully transformed 
uh, Link is turned into a wolf, but who knows how it's affecting Zelda. It's not affecting her appearance, but it's probably affecting her in some way. Who knows? Who knows? They never fully explain that. I'm just, this is me guessing. Uh, you must leave here quickly. She pulls his ears when she wants him to stop. Don't appreciate that, Midna. Not that way. The guard's coming. Boy, be prompt. Boy. Oh, man, I wish I had the like assets set up for the boy counter. That'd be, <laughs> that'd be funny. I wonder. I wonder what happens if I say exclamation point boy. I, wonder I have it, no idea if that's still turned on. I wonder if it'll still go. No, that has been disabled. Yep. Ehehe. <laughs> well, do you understand where we are now? Well, I guess a promise is a promise, so I'll let you go back to where you first tumbled into Twilight. But you are really sure you want to be you want to be going back? Are you sure you aren't forgetting anything important? Ehe, <laughs> do you want to save them? Well, in that case, little Midna would be happy to help you. But... <laughs> My sword! <laughs> oh, damn it, I left it with those little pain-in-the-ass kids! Well, you'd have Keep to be painting. my servant. And like a servant, you'd have to do exactly as I say. Why don't you go back, take a little time, give it some thought. Ehehe. <laughs> Midnight, I don't feel so good. Too soon. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot to mention one thing. Though you may have left the dark, darkened realm, you haven't transformed back to your former self, and you won't anytime soon. Now, why could that be? <laughs> See you later. I don't like her. She's snarky now. Yeah, but she, she grows on you. Also, look at Link's shadow. Oh, she's riding on top of you. Always with you, walking you through stuff. That's cool. Yeah, she actually can't form. You find out later that she can't form in light. It'll It'll kill her. So she's this, like, shadow form the whole time. <laughs> gotcha. Did you think I disappeared? Listen, there's another thing I forgot to tell you. Don't think you can just run off and save your friends because you can't. Just beyond that bridge, is, just beyond that bridge the land is covered in twilight. Last time a shadow beast pulled you through the curtain of twilight. But if you want to go that way this time, you'll need to find the cooperation of someone from the twilight. Like me. So you really have no choice but to do what I say. Saving your friends and all that, well, that'll depend on your actions. Because you never can trust words, you know? Right now, I want a sword and shield. That'll suit me. Do you understand? You understand me, don't you? <laughs> so what do you plan to do while you're here dwaddling? D dwaddling? D dwaddling? The twilight continues to expand. Come on, hurry up. I'm a dog. You're a wolf. I'm a big old pupper. Yeah. 
I'm a big old poochum. Wait. Thank you for taking care of those bad guys. They made both the village and the forest a mess. They kidnapped the village children. But I know you're I but I know you're not one of them. I can tell because you smell like the trees of Oridon. If you run into any trouble, try talking to the animals. We animals understand one another, so you'll be you'll be all right. Oh, how did it come to this? The children, please say nothing's happened. Please forgive your good-for-nothing father. I think that he is the father to the girl. Gotcha. At least it's not the ugliest of the kids, so... He's got that going for him. Yeah. I can't run up to that guy because he calls a hawk down to attack me. That's rude. Yeah, it's very rude. So I need to go to this house here. I think. No. I think I came here too early. Right, because I got an eavesdrop on that conversation that's happening over there. So are you talking to the chicken? Yeah, I can talk to animals in my wolf form. No. No. Oh, about the shield. Hey, Just not no. so loud. No. We are not talking with chickens. I could do it as we discussed. I checked as we discussed. I feel like something sketchy is going on here. So that shield is still in your house, right? Yeah, uh, it should be on our st a storage loft. Good. Go grab it. Quick as you can. Russell, that's uh, Colin's dad, got wounded pretty bad, so we can't go search for the kids. I'll take over for him. But Russell had a sword, Mayor. He's still, and he still got hurt. If you're unarmed, you're done for. I'll be fine. The sword, uh, I'll be fine. The sword we were gonna go in to uh, present to the royal family should still be in Russell's house. Oh yeah, all right. I understand, Mayor. I'll hurry up and get that shield. You just wait here. No good, run! Use the spider sense. Oh yeah, I can, uh, Look around for stuff. But I need to get that guy off the uh, house over there. So. We should jump there. But that dude will send a hawk after me if I go over there. So how do we get rid of him? Uh, I gotta scare him off. I don't remember exactly how to do that, though. Well. Oh. Just push him into the water. <laughs> Can't climb up here. I thought I remember there being a bark button where I could just bark. I might be getting this confused with uh, Okami, though. Maybe I have to, like, initiate the hawk thing. Clinton says the rock by the shop. You've returned for more, haven't you? My daughter, return her and take this. I'll eat that hawk. 
The Rock by the Shop. There's a cat. Yeah. Were you? Look at that neck. Oh, my God. I don't think it's supposed to do that. No. Were you attacked by that hawk? You're no match for him. I'm he sorry. That person calling the hawk is my master's husband. Oh, interesting. You can sneak up from behind and scare him. Meow. Why are you saying meow to me as a cat? Just reiterating that she's a cat. Meow. He just jumped in the water. Could have drowned again. Why are we howling? I'm calling the bird. Oh. Okay. I think as a wolf, the, the hawk will like give you tips or something. I just want to see what happens because I don't remember. So you're a cropler, right? Sorry about giving you such a trouble before. I'm not proud of it, but it's the... But it's in my genes to obey anyone who blows a reed. How sad. Your voice, it sounds just like a reed. That's why I flew down. I'll tell you what, next time, call me when you need something. Who knows? I might be able to help you out. Thanks for apologizing for beating me up. Yeah, he's a good boy. And now I can get the shield in here. And after I get the shield, then go get soul sward. And I destroyed all their pumpkins. <laughs> you got the Ordon shield. Press X uh, ZL to defend yourself. But beware, if it's touched by fire, it will burn. That's interesting. And this is the only one of this shield there are in the whole game. Uh, if this shield does burn up, you can get another wooden shield, but it won't be this wooden shield. And they don't have any different stats. It's just this is the only Ordon shield in the whole game. How do I get out of here? Oh, I shouldn't have jumped down. I should have climbed out the window. You gotta jump out the window. Oh, apparently. <laughs> the children, could they have returned? I must go and search for one, them. I must go searching one last time. You get inside the house. I place a sword. Uh, yeah. I'm all turned around. I don't know where to go. Oh, there they are. Okay. I'm gonna guess to her house. So basically, he, like, walks away from the house, and if he sees me, he chases me off. So I need to, like, sneak around the side of the house and dig into that hole that I dug into before. You got the Ordon sword. This sword is crafted by Russell, the best swordsman in Ordon, uh, as tribute to the royal family. All right, so you have a sword. Looks like we can actually be. Looks like you can actually be useful when you concentrate. <laughs> I skipped before I finished reading. It. I didn't know what the last word was. All right, no more detours. I'm going to take you back to the twilight. Go back to the woods uh, where you first transformed into the sh that shape. Okay. Borf? Is he still out there? Yeah, he's still traipsing around. 
He's a little slow going, you know, with the injuries and all. Yeah. I'll just let him be. Uh, am I going the right way? I think I am. Wait. Come to my spring. You have been transformed by the power of shadow. Come to me. Oh, Be hello. Beware a shadow being. It approaches. All of a sudden, there's these w weirdly formed rock things. Yeah, they're a barrier. Oh, okay. It's not really a, tra it's a trap. It's not really a trap. You are having to kill something I do not like. Looks creepy. Yeah, those things are oh, scary. Oh, that was easy. Yep. Anticipated being harder. Um, it gets harder later when you have to fight like four of them at once. Gotcha. Ooh, pretty water. What the fuck? Is it the sun? What the fuck is this? A giant goat? Oh, brave this guy youth. Be our Patronus? It does look like a Patronus. It's Mega Goat. No! He is legend. I am one of the four light spirits that protect Hyrule at the behest of the gods. I hate how slow the text is going. I am Ordona. The black beast you slayed was a shadow being. It has come to seize the power of light I yield. Wield. My brethren in Hyrule have already had their light stolen by these fell beasts. I feel like they should say foul, but... The entire kingdom has been reduced to a netherworld ruled by the cursed powers of darkness. Sounds like you didn't do your job then. You were supposed to like protect us, you know, and you let darkness take over. I don't think they had a choice. The blight will not stop. With Hyrule uh, before long, the entire world of light will fall to the hands of the king who rules the twilight. Who is this king? I feel like we should uh, we saw take him. him down. We saw him. The guy with the scary chameleon mask. I know. I just, we, we need to take him down. Oh, okay. I mean, I was going to just let him pass him up, but we'll go take him out now. <laughs> it was three on one. It wasn't a fair fight. To save the land from the king of twilight, the lost light must be recovered. The three light spirits who have lost their light must be revived. There is but one who can revive them and redeem this land. You. <gasps> you Me? still have not discovered your true power. Yes, Shelby, you. Specifically. I'm still so young. <laughs> too much stress. I can't take it. <laughs> Those transformed by twilight usually cannot recover their original forms. Unless, if you were to return to the Faron, to Faron Woods, where you were first transformed, if you were to revive the light spirit. There, by the power of the light spirit, you may find the means to regain your other state of being.
And that was all a dream because I'm high as shit right now. And I wake up in my house, in my basement, my dark as fuck basement. Yeah. Quinn says, hold on, BRB. Well, Quentin, I was just about to tell Logan, I think that might be a good spot to end it for the night before he tries to go and find his other self. Okay. Oops. Well, I started the next cutscene, but it's just a pop through. Oh, I could tell her no. Hey, look, the Farron Woods that you know so well, they're not covered in Twilight. You might not be able to come back. Do you still want to go? No. Really doesn't matter to me, you know. Uh, the only thing that'll happen is uh, you s stand here, steady, blah, blah, blah. All right. Well, I think, yes, that will do it for us tonight. Um, thank you to our new followers. Thank you to anyone and everyone who uh, was watching through. Oh, he thought he heard. Oh, were you being robbed? Everything cool, Quinn? Were you being burgled? Were you being burgle burgled? I'm guessing he's okay if he's back watching the stream. But you never know. But thanks, anybody, for watching. Make sure you go follow okay. us on Twitter where you can see uh, posts about what we're going to be streaming that day slash week. We also have other uh, social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, where you can see behind the scene content for all the cool carpet boredom stuff. Especially here in like a couple weeks, some cool stuff might be going down. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, make sure you go join our Discord where you can go hang out with the other board members. Um, tomorrow night's community game night. You should join. Right. If you own Black Ice on Steam, you can come play with us tomorrow. That'll be real fun. YouTube. We have a YouTube, two YouTube channels. We have one where we upload a new video every Monday at 10 a.m. No, thank you, Carlos. Appreciate you hanging out with us, bud. Talking Zelda with us. That was real fun. Oh, there we go fanboy brian uh we have another youtube where we have archives of all of our streams and you can go follow those if you miss a stream and want to catch up it'd be real cool if you did i don't think i missed anything if you need links to anything go to our website carpetboredom.com where we also sell shirts and uh, coasters if you want to pick one of those up and yeah. uh i don't know shelby do you do you are you interested in keep on playing this are we gonna do two series at the same time yeah, I think we are. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right. Well, we're probably going to keep playing this, so make sure you keep checking back while we play more of this game. I'm going to save it before I forget. Twitter. Go to Twitter so that way you'll know what nights we're playing. Oops. Yeah. Well, we always play Tuesday through Saturday, but what specific night we're actually playing this game. How the fuck do you save this game? <laughs> I'll do it off stream. Hey, but everybody, thanks for watching. Whether you're studying, working, sleeping, or lurking, we'll see you tomorrow for Black Ice. Have a great night. Good night.